Welcome to Motivational Monday. I'm your host, Teresa Ann, and I'm so glad that you're joining me with your cup of tea or coffee. But I wanted to give a shout out to Cameron with Bobo's light bulb on Instagram. He gave us a shout out yesterday and it was so fun and awesome. And we just want to give a shout out back to him because he is hilarious, hilarious, yet so creative, artistic in so many ways, but he will make you laugh. We love watching his Insta stories because he is just a hoot. So has this ever happened to you? to where you're in a store and you are just going in, gotta get stuff done, and you're treated poorly by the person who's at the cash register or at the customer service desk, and you're like, really? I was so convicted one day when I walked into a store and I allowed someone's attitude affect my attitude towards not just them, but the whole company that they worked for. And it literally got me to a place where I said, I'm never shopping there again. You know, this high and mighty, egotistical, uh, prideful, you know, how dare they, that we've got to stop. We've got to stop that. Because here's the deal. We have to look at every situation that we come into as a mission field. If we're gonna go across the seas to help people know Jesus, then let's do the same thing here on our homeland. This is an assignment from God to reach the unreached, even in this store. We may be the ministering labor that their grandmother or their great grandmother or their mother or their aunt or their friend have been praying, please God, send the ministering laborers. We all know the saying, hurting people hurt people, but we really got to get that. We've got to get it. Broken people try to break other people. Misery loves company, right? All of those little sayings that we say, they're catchy phrases. But then when things happen, we forget about those catchy phrases. And now it's just about us again. So on today's Motivational Monday, let's really think about who are we called to? It could be that neighbor that we can't stand, but God's saying, I love them. I love them with an everlasting love. I put you right beside them because I trust that you trust me, Teresa. He believes that we are going to trust him in the process. Let's look at every opportunity now as a mission field. Your job is a mission field. Your grocery store is your mission field. Your home is your mission field. There may be someone that you just couldn't stand in that store. Ask God, say, Lord, what can I do for them today? What can I do for them? It might be writing a card to them, putting a Starbucks card in there. It doesn't have to be a lot. And even if they mistreat you, even in the process of you handing them that card, say, God, thank you for this mission field moment. Thank you, God, that your purpose is to reconcile every person back to you. I want to be a minister of God's reconciliation. I don't want to be a minister of saying, oh, I've been attacked again. Woe is me. No more. We are not pansies for the kingdom of God. We are representatives. We are ambassadors. Let us think about not our own purpose, but what is the purpose of God in our life today? Because there's a purpose that he has on the inside of that one, of those many that he wants to reach. And he's saying, I trust that you will trust me through this process. God bless you. Have a great day. And I can't wait to hear the stories of what God shows you as you no longer get hurt by people. But now you begin to do what he does. And that's hurt 
for them. Have a great day. Remember, this show is about bold inspiration, revealing God's goodness.